Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Weekly National Forecast. My name is James Cuellar, here with the Oklahoma Weather Lab and partners with the Southern Climate Impacts Planning Program. And yes, we are, in fact, back with these climate podcasts. We're going to be posting them every single Monday morning, so be sure to be on the lookout for that on our social media pages, which we will touch on at the end. Uh, We're going to be talking about a pretty consistent weather pattern over the next few days that's going to be impacting the lower 48. And we're also going to be talking about the drought. Some areas need to be seeing some some more rain in order to get out of their uh, in order to get out of their current drought status. So we will be taking a look at that. Now our first story is actually going to be across the south and southeast. We will likely be seeing quite a bit of precipitation over the next seven days, particularly across northern Mississippi and Alabama, which we we could be seeing uh, two to five inches of rain likely over the next seven days. Now we have a much wider swath of at least one to two inches of rain expected. Uh, across the south and southeast, even extending into central Texas, we could likely be seeing at least one to two inches of rain throughout the week. Now, moving on to our uh, six to ten day temperature outlook, we could, most of us across the northern portions of the United States, especially in the Midwest and into the Northeast, will likely be seeing above average uh, temperatures over the next six to ten days. Now, those of us across the Intermountain West will likely be seeing below average temperatures, and even across the Southeast, we could be seeing uh, cooler than average temperatures. Um, a little, little bit of a lower chance, but it is entirely possible that across the Southeast, we could be seeing below average temperatures in the six to 10 day time frame. Now, going on to our precipitation outlook for the next six to 10 days, we will likely be seeing above average precipitation within this time frame uh, for those of us across the central portion of the United States. Those of us in the Northeast and across the West Coast will likely be seeing those below average uh, precipitation values over in the six to 10 day time frame. Now, going to our eight to 14 day time frame, that colder air will be spilling in from the West. Uh, the western two-thirds of the United States will likely be seeing below average temperatures, particularly across the Intermountain West, uh, where we could be seeing some pretty pretty brutally cold temperatures for the end of February. And now, that warmer air that we were talking about that was really dominant across the Midwest and the northern, the north central portions of the United States is actually going to be moving east, and across the northeastern portion of the United States, we will likely be seeing those above average temperatures within this time frame. Now going to our precipitation outlook, we will likely be seeing, especially the eastern two-thirds of the United States, will likely be seeing those above average precipitation values. And those of us across the west will likely be seeing those below average precipitation values. And that is particularly important whenever it comes to our drought. Now those of us across the west, the drought situation actually is not all that bad. Uh, most of us are likely in the abnormally dry to moderate drought conditions. However, this is the rainy season. And during the rainy season, we like to see a lot of rain. Uh, and if we don't see a whole lot of rain over the next few days, we will likely be seeing these drought conditions worsen just a little bit, you know, not a whole lot, um, but it is something that we'll be monitoring over the next few days. Those of us across the four corners, this is where we've seen some pretty hefty drought conditions over the past couple of years. Um, but for right now, moderate to severe drought, so it's not as bad as it has been, and we will likely be seeing um, some increase in precipitation over the next few days, so that will likely help drought conditions there. And those of us across South Texas, we actually have seen a little bit of an increase in the coverage of severe to extreme drought um, across the southern portion of Texas, and so that will be something that we will have to be monitoring. We could be seeing some rain, once again, that one to two inches of rain is possible across eastern and central Texas, um, but we will likely have to be monitoring that over the next few months, seeing if this drought um, continues to worsen across South Texas. Now, onto our one month temperature outlook, this is actually for the rest of February going into March. Uh, we'll likely be seeing above average temperatures across the eastern third of the United States and across the west coast. We could be seeing those above average temperatures. Now, those of us across the northern Rockies will likely be seeing below average temperatures. And going on to our precipitation outlook uh, through the end of February and into early March, uh, those of us across the southeast will likely be seeing above average precipitation and across the northern Rockies we could be seeing some above average precipitation. Those of us seeing below average precipitation within this time frame are those of us uh, in the central United States and across the west coast we could be seeing those below average precipitation values more than likely. And that does it for this week. Uh, be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on YouTube in order to see the latest uh, climate podcasts and all social media posts. We will be posting these climate podcasts once again every single Monday morning, so be sure to check us out. You guys have a wonderful week.